Good morning. It's Saturday and I have no idea what we're going to get into today. Maybe nothing. <laughs> Honestly, we're both pretty tired. And it's going to be a really nice day though. It's a little cold this morning. Um, we'll see. two days in a row I've not been able to milk because they've been escaping their pen. So at least today I've got to find a bungee cord to lock them in. It's really frustrating. I've like had everything ready to go yesterday to milk and then walked in there and realized that they had gotten out. Um, and I think what's happening is I have the curtain down because it's cold and we have those two new babies. So it's been like below freezing and I think because I'm getting up late to the last few mornings, the mama goats are breaking in to eat a little bit of grain that's in there because they're ready to go. But I don't know. Good morning, shrub. We'll see how it goes. What I want to do, at least this morning, is to move the girls over into the backyard pasture so that. Um, Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. We're out of range cubes. So the cows and the boy goats just have to have sweet feed. Um, I want to move them out here so that um, I can let Pixie kind of out in the back stall. She seemed to like that yesterday. She doesn't want to eat the grain and the um, pellets that I gave her. She really wants to graze. I'm good with. She ate like a crazy person yesterday when I let her out. So we're going to do that. I need to work on the garden a little bit today. We'll see. tried a bunch of different nipples for Chief and it just doesn't seem to work. Um, so he gets one that basically just pours milk out and he seems to be okay with that. So we'll see. So he gets bigger. Our onions are generally good but we had a couple of frosts and they killed my potatoes. But our onions and our garlic are doing really well. Let's see. Some strong stalks. These should be ready to go here pretty soon. Hopefully. And our garlics are growing. But our carrots survived the frost, but the potatoes did not. I should have covered them up. But all of the things that I read said it just it wasn't a hard freeze. It was like 30 that they would be okay but they weren't so we'll probably be replanting them good morning girls sorry all i've got loose feed for you today that's not enough good morning sweet let's check on waffles and burn real quick pixie's up and eating there they are all snuggled up so you can see Broken out, I'm gonna let you guys out. We'll come back and spend some time with the new baby. She had him out yesterday, so I'm kind of surprised, but she's the mama goat. There's nobody around, so I think she felt pretty comfortable. Doing her own thing, but it was a little bit chilly, and I think because I let her out, she didn't exactly clean up one of their butts very good, so I had to clean up some sticky milk poop. Good morning, Pickles. 
So we've locked them out of where the IBC toe is. So they're having to, I don't know, sleep. There you go. They're having to sleep in their new pig house. And I think they're really liking it. We put some straw in and it seems to be going well. And that's really just to keep them locked out so I don't have to worry about them when I'm milking. And they don't really need that area anyway. So they have this big area and they have this. I extend it kind of around the edge. And we're trying to figure out how to get the calves out there too because they've eaten all the grass. Um, that they have as well. So just been hard because it keeps freezing so all the grass growth that we're getting stops so it grows and it, there's so much grass and then there's nothing because it's been below freezing for three days so. That went really smoothly. We're gonna let Pixie out and go close the gate. I just don't really want her wandering too far and there's plenty to eat in this little paddock. And I don't also don't want her to stand at the gate all day over there and look at her friends. And this just seems to be, she wasn't upset yesterday to be by herself. Um, and we're only gonna do this for a few days. Here you go, Mama. What do you think, Waffles? <laughs> did you get some footage? I did. Bunch of hopping and jumping. What do you guys think? Can you tell them to come back? Oh, here, here she comes. So they're doing really well. Said my only complaint is that she doesn't keep his butt very clean and it looks like I need to clean it again today. I don't really know why. That one's butt's pretty clean, but his is not. I don't know if he just won't stand still and let her clean it, which kind of looks to be the case because she's smelling them. We'll clean it off. We'll just use a baby wipe. You just want, don't want their back end to get showy. And Errol Hoppy. I don't want it to get clogged up. But she's taking good care of them. She's got a really big nice udder and her teats will look much bigger than mom's now that she's full of milk. And for her first freshener basically I'm excited about what she looks like. So yeah. I'm getting, getting cleaned up here. Okay, so we have um, been inside doing some research on YouTube because where else do you do research nowadays? Just gonna come out and check on everybody. I try to, when they're in the backyard, make sure that they come out um, and just check on them. Yesterday I put them out here and it was cold and I ended up having to take them back in early because they were just, the babies were like all on a pile. Day. It looks like everybody's having fun. Hi, Nanners! We've got to, and I probably need to go ahead and do that, spray them again for lice today or tomorrow. Um, because of the nits, all the eggs will have hatched by now. But we had to wait 14 days to do that. Here's our, our crew. All our babies are getting big. 
Ah, cedar. Cedar, come back, buddy. Um, I don't even know that you can see him over there rolling. Pine and cedar are definitely my best buddies. They're the friendliest, most adventurous. It's weird to me to have um, boys that are not, Huckleberry's the only one that's not really as friendly. Pepper's pretty friendly. Obviously this guy's friendly. The girls are a different story. Um, we've been trying to really talk about what we're gonna do with them at the end of the day. Obviously though, we'll sell them all, but I'm t we're talking about keeping Clover possibly, um, but with the pandemic, not really wanting people on the farm quite yet that we don't know, but hopefully by mid-May some of that will, things will be better when they're ready to go. I was looking, Huckleberry was born the end of February, so first, I think first or second week in May he'll be ready to wean, but we will probably wait until um, at least Pepper is ready to wean as well. So that they can be together. Don't want to put one baby goat over with the big boys. Dewey Daisy Goat. Who broke the babies out this morning? Huh? Who did it? My tulip. I think we did figure out tulip's escape hole finally. But she wasn't out much the last couple of days. What do you think, Tinkerbell? Oh, somebody had poop all over their feet. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. Now I'm covered in poop. I am fine. That was probably fine. Pepper, what are you doing, buddy? I see you there. Hi. Did you get me all nasty? Yes, I can see it on your feet. Okay, move, buddies. Move, buddies. Oh, no, we're not going out. know where Pepper's going. They all get out all the time over here. It's not a big deal. Go back in, Peps. Yep, go back in. Good boy. Go back to Mama. Keep him in, Nons. Here's Shrubbers. Hi. What's it doing, Mama Cat? So Jeremy is named the new kitten, Shadow. And she's been living over at our neighbors. Um, the ones that aren't living in their house currently. So we've been to re doing some research. I thought I would ask you guys what you think. Jeremy's thinking about maybe getting some meat rabbits. And that's always been kind of a hard no for me because I don't, I don't really want to eat bunnies. It's just not, we've grown all kinds of things for meat here on the farm and it's not been a big deal, but like eating a rabbit to me, it's just, I don't know. What do you guys think? We're thinking about just even getting some rabbits and trying it, just raising them and seeing how that goes. So I don't know, leave me a comment about what you think. Hi, little. How are you doing?
because of the noise. So it stinks, but we'll go see the pigs. We'll go see what the piggles are doing. So I just actually reached out to some um, farmers in Oklahoma, so they're homesteaders that have a cream colored Cooney Cooney gilt for sale, and she's breeding age. Um, so we'll see. I don't really know what the response will be for them, you know, just because of the pandemic is actually worse in Oklahoma than this here. Um, per hundred thousand or whatever. But I think that would be awesome. We would have a cream colored gilt and then our orange and brown four and our brown and white gilt. And maybe piglets a little sooner. What do you think, Cooney? I'm just, because I'm not, it's been a while since I've been on a farm with other Cooney Coonies. They're hoping to have something to eat. I'm not sure how big she's supposed to get. It's been a while. The last farm that I was on with full size um, gilts or sows was when we bought pork chop, which was like two years ago.
up getting a couple blocks today. We mostly worked on some things inside. But we did do one thing, because now that I wanted to show you, I'll let the pigs back into their area. <laughs> She's hoping I'm a feeder. No food for pickles. You have grass. It's kind of an adjustment for them getting fed twice a day to basically I'm feeding them a little bit in the morning right now. Yeah. So that you can go in and out. That's what this is for. So it had been raining in their house. Um, we had a really big storm come through and the inside of their house got wet. So we just put up some, what we, it was getting rain in the back. And so we just put up some little, that, um, those boards right there. That's what we did, didn't we, Toonie Pig? And I moved their pig pool here and their water next to this hose now that they're kind of permanently in this area. Um, and they're done with their little tote house. So we're gonna go put everybody to bed, move the girls, and she's so funny. I'm itchy mom. Itch me, she says. Okay. They'll probably stay out and eat a couple more hours. They like it when it's cool. They don't eat really during the day when it's hot. And it got pretty warm today. 70. So they were happy to have their pig pull back for sure. Happy pigs. I'm gonna go put Pixie and her babies in their pen for tonight and then we're gonna walk the girls over and then we'll feed Chief. And I left the bottle too long this morning and the boy goats bit a giant hole in it. In the nipple. So we have to fix him a new nipple. Go get waffles and fern and put them in their little pen for tonight because it's going to rain tonight and pretty much all day tomorrow, which stinks. So we'll be milking again in the morning because they're going to all need um, to sleep in here and they will not... Pixie. I'm gonna feed her really quick before I go get the other girls. She said that they kind of are not trying to invade on her eating and crawling all over me. So I'll set you down in here. We need to get you water. Let me go ahead and get your water bowl. On. Babies are warmer today, which is good. Last night, waffles, nose, and ears were just pretty cold. And like the inside of his mouth was cold. So she was feeding him. He was eating. So I don't know. It was really cold last night, yesterday, in general, so it just may have been, he was kind of cold, but they didn't sleep all piled up last night. I looked at the camera and they apparently didn't feel cold. All right, so let's go get the rest of this silly crew. So 
you can see they've really got that down. They do really well with it. Back and forth. The babies have figured it out. They outrun me. Yes, ma'am. Generally. They do kind of help us tonight. So I got, got to stretch a nipple for um, Chief. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys that. Most of the time when you buy a calf nipple at the store, um, you need to stretch it out a little bit so that they can drink out of it. I think today there's a good example of, it was beautiful today, it was a perfect day to work outside. We are both just really tired. Um, you know, this is kind of new normal for us too. Working from home, Jeremy's working from home some days. I'm working from home all the time. Balance, and that kind of balance is just, I don't know, we were just both kind of worn out. He had been up early. Sorry, one of these days I'm gonna get good at like holding the camera and looking at the camera. And not myself. But yeah, we just took the day off and that's totally okay. I think American culture definitely perpetuates this like need to be productive and now that we're all home, it's like, oh, you get all these projects done shot, you have all this time. It is 100% okay to have days where you're not doing anything. Are you ready, buddy? That does it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoy this kind of slow day on the farm. I'm gonna hang out in here with them for a little while. And I'm not putting the babies up tonight, the, the big babies up tonight because it's gonna rain. Um, so I won't milk tomorrow. But I'm gonna snuggle these guys for a few minutes before I go in and make some cheese. So be looking for that video soon. So make sure you guys give me a thumbs up that's a like it really helps the channel um, the more likes we get and they promote our videos on YouTube leave me a comment about anything that you any content that you would like to see or what you like to do on your slow days on your farm or at home I think I'm gonna take waffles to some zoom meetings next week you've been special requested so that should be fun Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'm gonna do a shed video, will probably be my next video, will be um, how to do just basic goat cheese. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you know every time we put out a new video. So that you can always see waffles in every video that he's in. He's so cute, and we'll see you guys later.